Hello America, I'm Steve Saylor, speaking to you today from the 21st century, surrounded by all this amazing technology that is changing and improving so much of our lives, and yet we're still living with an antiquated socioeconomic system from a hundred years ago. A system that needs scarcity to function, which requires us to fight each other, compete against one another, which inherently produces imbalance, inequality, war, starvation, all the problems we're dealing with now that will just continue if we remain in this childish and irresponsible game. Now, in contrast to this, we have the opportunity to create an updated system that takes advantage of our automated technologies to get rid of jobs we don't need anymore, to get rid of money we don't need anymore. Yes, this is possible right now. And you could say this is the basis of my political platform, although politics becomes obsolete in this new era managed by logic and science. Don't need opinions. Don't need politics. Now, the primary goals of my platform are public health, both physical and mental, along with environmental preservation, taking care of people and the planet. We can reduce it to just that. Everything else falls under that umbrella. We make sure everyone has a home and food, and we can do this already, right? We all understand that people are going hungry now because of the failures of the market system, not because we don't have enough food. And we see to it that everyone has access to what people need, like health care, education, transportation. And we can provide all these things without the need for money, barter, trade. Money just gets in the way. And it is the method of control used by our owners, the bankers, to keep us desperate and willing, to keep us enslaved in their fictional debt, and so limited in what we could actually be doing with our lives. This is what money does beyond what it's supposed to do to represent the value of our products and resources. But the fact is, we don't need money to represent the value of our resources anymore. Yeah, get this. Our resources can represent the value of our resources. How about that? Our resources can represent their own value. We have simply outgrown the need for money anymore as difficult as that might be for some people to accept. And a food revolution is part of this platform, and I think it's something we all want because we see what's happening to our food with factory farming and corporations trying to alter the seeds so they can patent and own the food, which is truly disgusting. So we're going back to the localized growing of organic food using permaculture, greenhouse technology, automated vertical farms, food grown outside and inside every home, an abundance of food so no one goes hungry. Also, we initiate a clean energy Manhattan project. That's where many scientists come together to produce something, not a bomb this time, but brainstorming on all types of clean energy. One of the primary goals of taking care of the planet. And what else? a decentralized model of self-governing, of self-management. We want government out of our lives. Isn't that what everyone keeps saying? Well, here you go. Here's our chance to be responsible, to take care of ourselves, because this would be the most from the ground up system of managing our society that we could possibly have. And I'll explain. But here's one more plank in my platform something that people should really like about our new system, the 10-hour work week. Because when we get rid of this antique monetary system, more than half of the jobs we're working now no longer exist. We can contribute 10 hours a week to projects in our community which directly benefit us, rather than work 40 or 50 hours a week for someone else, with many of those jobs having no relevance to what human beings actually need. Okay, now let me paint a picture of what this new system of strategic management and organization, what it could look like, how we can transition into this system. And I have to warn you, this looks nothing like what we have now. Instead of 535 cooks in the kitchen, supposed to be representing us in Washington, 
instead of meeting behind closed doors with their biggest donors, writing their legislation, yeah. Instead of 535, we have 10 or 12 or 20, I don't care, whatever we decide. And nobody's going to Washington. Everyone's going online. Yeah, of course they are. It's the 21st century. All management, open source, online. So we have 20, uh, and that would be from the Americas and Canada, another dozen from Europe and from the Far East and Australia and so on. We try to represent all regions around the globe and end up with maybe 100 people on what we might call our resource management team. We don't have to call it that. We can vote on it. This will be an actual democracy rather than the oligarchy or the plutocracy we're living under now. So who are these folks on the RMT? Well, they're not people who run for this position, who want to be in charge, not bankers or corporate interests or politicians. Those positions no longer exist outside the money game. No, the people we really need at the forefront of our resource management team would be our best and brightest scientists, engineers, technicians, architects, builders, people who are technically oriented to help organize our resources in the most technically efficient ways. These are people that you nominate, that we nominate, and we'll have to ask them nicely. I think. We might have to beg them to do it because who wants to have to listen to your BS all day long? And mine too. <laughs> no, but actually it wouldn't be like that because these people will be making the decisions for us like it's done now with all of our top-down hierarchies. No, they'll be more like the moderators on these online forums. They'll just help organize information with regards to this or that particular field. And there would be a few people who are specialists in clean energy technology, and they would be passing along test results to the subgroups working on various free energy systems. And everyone is not only checking to see that the, the most efficient methods are being utilized, but all of us can be assisting in processing this information and moving it forward. This is the great collaboration taking place where knowledge grows exponentially within the group mind, the collective consciousness, where solutions to many of our problems come out of left field where, where no one expected it be because all information is shared worldwide, available to everyone to add to it. Our scientific understandings will move forward by leaps and bounds without the hoarding and patenting, without people fighting for ownership of knowledge. This will be the age of enlightenment too, bigger and better in super high def, with colors you wouldn't believe. So, we have our specialists in clean energy and in farming, soil regeneration, atmospheric sciences, oceanographers who are moderating the forums dealing with the restoration of our ecosystems, with all of us contributing. And this model, this contribution network, is duplicated on a local level. This is where it really begins, with every community having their own local management team and you nominate a few people in your town to, to help organize the way you take care of things, where and how you grow food and distribute it, how you manage your water systems, recycle waste, etc. This will be the most decentralized system possible from the ground up. Government as we've known it will be out of our lives. This is what you want, isn't it? Now then, how can we transition into this new economic model? It might seem like such an enormous, nearly impossible task, but in reality, it can be so easy. A truly simple and peaceful process, because here's what happens. Get ready for it. We just keep doing what we're doing without money. We keep doing the relevant work. And without this old money game, more than half of the jobs we're doing that keep people running around in circles all day long become completely irrelevant. We just let those things go. We stop doing them. 
We just stopped working at banks and insurance, accounting, Wall Street, marketing, advertising, and life goes on just the same without them. So we just keep making the things we're producing now, working 10 hours a week. But what if the owner of a factory tries to shut it down to say, no, you're not running this plant without my permission? Well, the police have to be on the side of the people here. They have to maintain order and make sure everything continues to run as usual. And why wouldn't they? The police have parents and brothers and sisters, extended family, who will all benefit in this new system of intelligent management. In fact, everybody benefits here. There are no losers. The world is a better place for the ownership class too. A sustainable world for their families. And the police force rapidly dwindles down because crime virtually disappears when everyone's needs are met. No reason for crime, no reason for them to have to worry about getting shot every time they go to work. It's a better world for everybody. We just need everyone to be aware of the plan for global sustainability, which is online and, and not that difficult to understand. Remember, we keep doing what we're doing in terms of relevant work, making products people need and want, or providing services that people need, and we let go of everything else. We do this without the barriers of money, which means no homeless, no one hungry, no war, contribute 10 hours a week for community projects. Most people would contribute 20 hours a week, I believe, if you don't have to deal with any of the pressures and stress of getting money to make payments, no mortgage, no insurance, no taxes. Your home is yours forever. No one takes that away. You have all the rest of your time to pursue your own interests. So we just pick a day to keep doing what we're doing, but without money. Like May 1st, 2018 comes to mind. May, uh, a time of rebirth and renewal, yeah. And I'd like to say 2020 with that meaning of perfect vision, but I'm not sure if we have that much time. We may have gone beyond a tipping point already, so two years, we make the change. We have our nominees in place by then for our resource management team, and we just need the plan to become viral online around the world. Here's what we can do to save ourselves and our planet. We just keep doing what we're doing without money. Remember, we're already doing everything that needs to be done to take care of people right now. And when you understand that half the jobs we're doing don't contribute anything to this, then you realize that just half of us are doing everything that needs to be done for all of us. Imagine all the time we'll have when we're doing the relevant work together when we make this peaceful transition to the next age of enlightenment.